welcome this is the energy vibration um reading for the virgo sun moon and rising sign for the month of may 2018 the month of may is a positive month for you earth sign people because you have the energy of the empress energy of the empress is the energy of fertility um but it's also nurturing and it's also the physical world um protection of your physical world and that sort of a thing and it is um very very positive whenever you understand what exactly is transpiring now um the energy for you guys and i want to say thank you so much for your likes and shares and support and um wishing you really please remember to listen to your sun moon horizon sign because this is going to play a lot of role in your life in this month of may so here we are we're going to be looking at your energies to see what is going to be transpiring because you have the energy of a judgment okay your energy is the energy of judgment whenever the energy of judgment comes in it is a message of information coming at you there is going to be a, a message of information coming at you and this information that is you're going to be receiving some is going to be psychic um, and some is going to be information about something that was stolen from you something that was um, unjustly taken away from you okay and um, this is um, um, something that um, it it is the calls from a karmatic situation and some people are going to say really um, but yes it is okay so let's go and um, um, and look at the month um, in the weeks okay the first week you have the ten of wands okay the second week you have the page of wands which is um, a good news the third week you have the knight of wands so obviously here there's a pattern going on where the pattern is that um, you guys are really really dealing with a situation that has to do with um, um, your passion work situation or this situation that you that is happening has to do with um, you know burdens that you're taking out from um, April and you know sometimes because this information that is coming at you this information because the page of ones is always bringing in information and, and the information is coming from the knight of ones now this knight of ones you have to be very careful about because this knight of ones have stolen from you so this is someone who you need to keep at arm's length whoever this person is he has stolen something from you and you need to keep him at arm's length so look in your life and see who is because whoever this person is is between the ages of 25 and 40 this person has taken something from you whatever they have taken has taught you a lesson and this is coming to an end okay so peace is going to be coming in so um, as we look at the two last week of the month you're leaving something behind and you have decided to leave a situation behind um, it's not really a person it is a karmatic situation because um, the, whatever you're leaving behind is, is a situation that has to do with people who um, um, something that was stolen from you there's a lot of lies because um, the six of swords can also be lies and the seven of swords the six of swords and the seven of swords can be lies and people trying to get away with something but someone who is um, and and um, and Leo, uh, a, an Aries, a Leo, or a Gem, uh, or a Sagittarians have stolen or tried to get away with something, but they didn't. It didn't happen because 
um, what is transpiring is that it's as if you found out about it or you make it be a known you you make it be a known what has transpired okay so it's as if you know they were caught um, because you let it be a known what has transpired so this is really good um, um, because you basically let people know exactly what was transpiring so as we look at the first week the first week is that the energy of burden the ten of ones it is beginning the week the month of May so in the first week you're coming out of April and going in the month of May and feeling so burdensome it could be that a lot of you have had a lot of success in the last week of April going into May but for some of you you're feeling as if you are taking out a burden from out of April going into May so this burden um, is as if you want to leave whatever this burdensome situation is behind you and there is going to be information coming at you to let you know how you can just turn your back and walk away from this situation and you know just have peace because it's all about having peace with a situation and leaving the situation behind that is going to be um basically helping you helping out yourself especially in the the coming of the months as we look at the second week um the second week is wonderful because there is a message of a new start that is um coming and this message of a new start could be um overwork or it could be a new start in you know that you decided that you have immigrated or you decided that you're leaving um, a situation behind or you're decided that you're leaving a relationship behind and there is coming a new start it could be that you're deciding that you know certain situation doesn't do me any good and um, whatever it is you're leaving it behind and it's very good because um the 21st um, because well, it's going to be transpiring between the ending of the first week and the beginning of the second week is that you you're going to receive the energy of the world so obviously there is the burden some situation is going to come to an end and a new start is going to be coming up now this new start could be dealing with someone who is with someone who is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius there could be a new start with this person but but um, this situation that has transpired has to do with a karmatic lesson because here we have two energies showing us that is a karmatic lesson because it is a learning situation and the wheel of fortune so obviously there is a karmatic lesson to be learned and now the, the whatever that it was um here there is going to be coming an end to it okay so um let's be happy um it could be that some of you are um getting out of a relationship with someone who is an um, Aries Leo or Sagittarian and you're going to be feeling better because the energy of the star hope peace and hope has come um, to a situation okay so let's look and see what is happening in the fourth week another air energy so you have to deal with um, the three four weeks is the the passion the fire the water um, it's all about business and your passion the first um, week to the third week as we look at the um, fourth week and the fifth week it is all about the communicates communication and intellect but those two last week is not going to be one of the most comfortable um, you will be successful you're coming out on top because you have um, the energy of the wheel of fortune but um, it is a situation where there was a lot of 
especially in the sixth week the fourth week you're deciding to move away from a situation you're deciding this I need our money in my life and you're gonna be deciding to leave a situation behind and a move on a new part and this is going to be extremely good why this is going to be good is because you're going to see a lot of deception and lies in people and situation around you that you're going to be thinking I don't want to be in this sort of a situation I am going to decide to make a change and get and, and move away from all these lies and deception that is going on you're going to decide in to choose for yourself and um, to basically um, you know keep your energy in a positive way and this is what you're seeing here because uh, you know get ready um, uh, and uh, get ready for this too last week you Virgos because there's a lot of lies and deception um, the the fourth week and the second week leave whatever the situation is go and look for inner peace and harmony okay because whatever that is transpiring you need to find inner peace and harmony with us in, in a situation because there's a lot of lies and deception that is going on and this situation is coming from people of a past life because sometimes we get involved in this situation and it is a past life situation that is happening basically okay okay so we are going to be looking at the overall energies the wheel of fortune wonderful so um the energy of um you know news because breakthroughs information coming out that is what your month is all about it's a lot of breakthroughs that is coming out information things that you weren't aware of endings that are coming with positive new beginnings but yet still the energy of harmony harmony finally harmony is coming in your life and this is um, positive so whatever the situation or whatever that was transpiring you are going to be seen um, there is a lily where peace is going to be coming in so if some of you were having some unjust situation with the Aries um, peace is going to be coming in because um, Saturnus is going to be removing this person out of your life for good um, especially for the sun people so let's say that you're you were born 12 a.m. in the morning until 6 p.m. during that time and you were having a, a situation that is coming from um, a lifetime and lifetime before or, or out the month of April or the months before with an Aries now it's going to be coming to an end and this is going to be very very good because what you're seeing happening here and what is transpiring is obviously that Saturn is going to be removing this Aries out of your life for good and peace is going to be coming in so there is obviously an ending that is happening and a new beginning and this new beginning is going to be coming true that is information you're going to be receiving from this new beginning that is going to be coming through okay as we look more at um, the end of the month you know there is a lot of deception and these deception that is happening around you it is a lesson that you need to learn but it's going to be coming to an end a swift end so some of you Uranus and I love when Uranus come so um, some of you were dealing with a Sagittarius Uranus is going to re moving them out of your life because there's a swift ending that is coming in so if you have been in a relationship with someone who is an Sagittarius Uranus is going to be coming and removing them totally out of your life so if you were born sit between 6 p.m. and 12 a.m. in the morning Uranus and you're having a relationship with a Sagittarius Uranus is going to come and remove them out of your life for good and this is going to be good do not let them back in your life because obviously this is a situation that has to do with a learning lesson it's a karmatic lesson 
And whatever the situation is or was, this Sagittarius person has something to do with the Knight of Wands. Whoever this Knight of Wands is, because it can be an Aries, but it can also be a Sagittarius, and it can also be a Leo. Whatever the less that you needed to learn from these people, Uranus is going to come and remove them once and for all out of your life. And then you are going to see what a positive energy that is coming in your, you know, the universe, the stars are going to be aligning for you whenever these people are moved out of your life. And this is going to be good and positive. Harmony is the overall energies of this month for you guys. Um, um, the the message that is coming in is is a message of um, positive, arm, harmonious situation is by being balancing out, and this is um, extremely extremely positive for um, a lot of you in this month. Um, a lot of successful events some some this month is going to be a very lucky month because you have the energy of the world and the energy of um oh my gosh i didn't even see that you have the energy of the world the energy of the wheel of fortune and the energy of the stars so right there and then you are seeing that the world is the energy of the mother earth that is actually helping you Virgos out in the month of May because um, the beginning of May is the zodiac energy of your earth sign so this is wonderful and then we have the energy of the wheel of fortune coming up for you Virgos which is the outcome of this month which is a lucky sign and then you have the energy of the star and as you see the world is as if a cup it makes the overcoupling of a cups to finish off the month of your reading so whatever that is going to transpire in the fourth week and the fifth week um the deception and the lie not to worry because the energy of the universe is aligning the stars for you because um the endings and new beginnings the world is a positive energy with the wheel of fortune and the star so you virgos are going to have one of the best best month so no matter what is coming at you especially from these fire sign people you'll be able um to protect yourselves ladies and gentlemen thank you for being here thank you for being back it is going to be a wonderful month for you virgos namaste until next time Thank you.